Welcome to the Advanced Cardiac Life Support Chapter on Asystole. Asystole is similar to PEA, which we discussed in the previous section, in that both asystole and PEA have unshockable cardiac rhythms. Asystole, or flatline, is associated with no cardiac electrical activity, no contraction of the cardiac muscle, and no cardiac output. Asystole is the most severe form of cardiac arrest. Flatline is when there is a straight line on the monitor, but asystole is when there is an actual absence of electrical activity. When confronting asystole, the first step is to ensure that you're dealing with an actual asystole rather than a user or technical error by making sure of a few things. Be sure that the leads are properly connected. Check that the power unit is on. Make sure that the signal, gain, amplitude, or strength is not turned down or too low. Be sure that the rhythm doesn't look like another pattern. Asystole can be caused by many reversible causes, which are represented by the H's and T's. We will go over the names of the five H's and five T's now, but for more details of each, please revisit the previous section. The H's are hypovolemia, hypoxia, hydrogen ion or acidosis, hyper or hypokalemia, and hypothermia. The T's are tension pneumothorax, tamponade, toxins, thrombosis, both pulmonary and coronary. Now, let's take a look at a scenario. You are a paramedic and arrive on the scene. There is a man laying on the floor unconscious, and a neighbor tells you that she saw the man collapse as he was unlocking his front door. First, assess the situation. Check the patient for responsiveness by tapping and shouting, are you all right? Look at his chest for any movement. When you check the carotid pulse, you note that there is no pulse present. Now, start with the interventions. If the patient has no pulse, immediately start compressions at a rate of 100 to 120 compressions per minute and allow the chest to fully recoil following the cycle of 30 compressions to two breaths. Prepare to transport the patient to the nearest hospital while continuing with effective CPR. Next, attach a monitor to the patient and check for a shockable rhythm. And if no shockable rhythm is present, that means that the patient is in asystole or PEA. Continue CPR for two minutes and obtain IV or IO access. For management of the patient once at the hospital, you must initiate the cardiac arrest algorithm if the patient still has no pulse and does not respond to BLS. Get a code team in place. Once IV or IO access has been obtained, administer the following drugs to the patient. Epinephrine in a dose of one milligram via IO or IV axis and repeat every three to five minutes. Or you can give the patient vasopressin at a dosage of 40 units via IO or IV to replace the first or second dose of epinephrine. Remember to maintain an advanced airway and capnography if needed. Pause and check the patient for a shockable rhythm. If the heart rhythm is not shockable, then continue performing CPR for two minutes and try to determine and treat the reversible causes. To see the algorithm on the management of cardiac arrest due to asystole or PEA, look at the left side of the chart included in this chapter. One thing to keep in mind when conducting VLS and ACLS survey on a patient with asystole is that there may be a time when you should halt resuscitative efforts. Some examples of when you should not continue to perform life-saving measures are signs of irreversible death, illegal DNR, or do not resuscitate order for the patient, threats or danger to the safety of the healthcare provider, and a living will or family wishes that contradict BLS or ACLS survey. This was the chapter on asystole. Please proceed to the next section of this course to learn more.